Okay, so we are going to go ahead and uh, take the background out of the headshot. So here is the headshot we're going to work with. And we're going to start with uh, just by copying the URL. And we're going to go here in the Pixlr editor. And we're going to open image uh, from URL. Okay. Uh, so we just go ahead and delete there and then Control V to paste and click OK. Okay, so here we have it in the editor. Um, now you notice that the background here, so let's take a first look here. So there's a layer. So the image we have comes in in the background. We have to go ahead and double click to unlock that first. So you need to see double click the lock icon there to unlock it. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and use this, um, just the magic wand. So notice on the left here, we used the magic wand tool. The one thing to, to control here is a tolerance. So notice if I have a really low tolerance, like 19, Notice that this uh, kind of the dancing ants here outline doesn't get absolutely everything. But if I go ahead and, uh, and raise it a little bit to say like 35 or 40, and then I click it, I'm gonna get more, <clears throat> um, more of the area. Okay, so once I have that area, I go ahead and hit backspace, and that kind of takes everything out. I can then, um, uh, I don't have to worry about the edges over here because we're just gonna leave those. Um, notice that on the, the picture I've selected, I can see the entire head and shoulders all the way down to the bottom, and that's what you want. You don't want any part of the area cut off. Uh, if we're going to use this on a web page, just one straight line at the bottom cut off. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, because hair is the most difficult part, you know, uh, so to make it look natural, what we have to do is we're going to use the magic wand inside the hair here. So notice that anywhere you see the background, this gray color, and you see why it's easier with the kind of a solid color background. Uh, you wanna go ahead and just kind of reduce the tolerance also down maybe you know to 17 or so. And then we can start to go inside this other hair area. And what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and just kind of get in between these small hairs here. Uh, and it's gonna look a much, much more natural if you can get kind of in there and um, uh, kind of get some space between them. Uh, it's not going to look 100%, look you know. Um, you do have the option of actually coming in and kind of taking out these areas. Um, you know, in this case, you could start here, then go up and around. And let's actually take a look at that. Uh, so if we have this marquee, uh, you know, in this case, let's just stick with the, uh, <laughs> that'll be another video. Let's just stick with the magic wand here. It's a little bit less difficult. So. We're just going to keep clicking inside here and keep backspacing and kind of clean some of that out. Uh, we could also go ahead and zoom in if we wanted to. Uh, let's say that we let's say that we did want to go ahead and um, and clean some of that up. We could go say go to like a thousand percent here. Oops, I guess we can go to five hundred percent, and we can kind of go up. And it's really necessary to really zoom in here, okay? So if you're gonna start editing the picture at all, uh, you really need to go ahead and zoom in. So let's go ahead and, and grab this lasso tool here. And we're gonna feather by one pixel, okay? And this is a case where say you have a hair area that you just can't, you just can't get in there with the, um, with the um, uh, magic wand tool. And notice I'm just gonna go pixel by pixel down uh, and then I'm just going to go across. I'm just going to cut kind of a big area out there, highlight it, delete it, and so we're going to slowly move down. Another way to do this uh, with the lasso is actually use a straight line on the lasso and uh, kind of go down. And notice that we have kind of this area with the cheekbones here. And you can just kind of click down along this line uh, and then we're just going to kind of go down and follow the line of this hair that we wanted here. Okay, click, 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 and you just kind of go down following whatever line you're, you're going to go, uh, clicking a lot with a straight line lasso. It's a little bit easier to control than the, than the regular lasso and delete. Um, I'm kind of using the, the wheel mouse here. And then finally, we're just going to bring it up and around. And when we zoom back out, we should have something that looks pretty natural here. Uh, the one thing that we might have, notice that when we zoom back out, we have kind of this cutoff space here on the right. 
Uh, it doesn't look too great. Let's go ahead and undo some of this. Uh, let's go back in and try it one more time. Okay, uh, and you'll you'll need to do this too. Uh, so once again, we've got the straight line lasso here. We're going to zoom way in. Uh, mainly, what we want to get is this cheek area. So we're going to come straight up here. Oh, and that's what happened there. We got we got some. It looks like we got a little bit of um, artifact here with the cheek. Uh, so if you notice, the cheek is kind of, um, it looks like somebody edited this a little bit previously and kind of actually deleted some of the uh, some of her cheek here, which is okay. Let's take a look at how to fix it. Okay, so I'm just going to come back in. <clears throat> We're just going to kind of follow the hairline down. And of course, this video got longer as usual, <laughs> but it's good, important to make your work look good. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and delete there. Notice that's going to make a really nice, um, you know, that the hair is going to look correct on the side there. Notice uh, that it just looks like it's been cut off a little bit like that. Now, the way that we are going to go ahead and correct the skin on the right here is actually to use the um, uh, use the clone stamp tool. Uh, so we're going to switch over clone stamp. We're going to go edit and then deselect all. And clone stamp, we're going to go ahead. Uh, we're going to make this brush size much, much smaller, down to nine pixels. Okay. Uh, and then basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to select an area to duplicate. And so we click once to set the area to duplicate. And we control click to find the source point. There we go. Control click. And then we're just going to click a couple of times. And notice that it's cloning in that area that I originally selected. And so I'm going to control click again. And we're just going to control click in. And notice I'm just creating more of that exact same skin tone there. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to smudge it. Okay. And then uh, so we go into with the smudge tool. We're going to reduce it to another, you know, five pixels amount. And then we're just going to come in and kind of clean that up and smudge it in. Uh, and that's going to uh, really blend it in there. Okay, so let's kind of zoom out and we'll see what it looks like. Notice that that area in the cheek on the right, on the left there, now comes out above the hair. So that, um, you know, so, okay, so there we go. So there, <laughs> there you have it. Uh, so basically, you know, you use a kind of a combination of the magic wand. You get in there with the lasso tool, with the feathering of at least one pixel. And then any places that you need to rebuild, use the clone, the clone tool and then smudge everything out. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do here is we're actually going to move this over to a new image. Okay, so we're going to click, whoops, I need to click and drag. So we're going to click and drag. Didn't quite get it there. We're going to click and drag and just make sure we got the whole image there. Uh, we just went a little bit outside the uh, where, sh where the uh, headshot is. We're going to control uh, copy, control C, and then we're going to go file new. Okay, file new image. Okay, and it's going to give this the, um, the size there. I don't think it, um, I don't think it got our image there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go edit, uh, copy, then we're going to go File, New Image. And there we got it. So uh, we're going to create an image from Clipboard. Click OK. Oops. And what I did there, notice I have a white background. That is not what we want. We didn't do all this work to get a white background. So we're going to go File, uh, New Image again. And I forgot to click the Transparent. So Transparent, Create from Clipboard. Click OK. There we have our transparent image. And finally, we're going to save it down. And we're going to save it as a JPEG. So we're going to go uh, File, uh, Save. And we're going to save it as, sorry, not a JPEG. We're going to save it as a PNG. And we're going to call it Headshot. Oop, my, uh, my keyboard is acting up here. So I'm just going to save it as Untitled for now. So I'd click OK. Uh, and I'm going to save it as Headshot. Okay, PNG, and, uh, 
and I'm going to go ahead and choose where I want to save it and then click save. And there we have it. Okay, so that is how we go from a, a background, a person, a headshot on a background to a headshot which is now transparent and really very usable on the web on whatever background we choose. Okay, uh, best of luck.